Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome back to another episode of the Brad Pertini Road to Glory Career Mode Season 3. And guys, uh, I've made the decision, Just I thought I'd let you know before we kick off this episode, that this will be the last season that I'm actually going to be playing all the way through to the end of Bradford City. Afterward, I'm then just going to sim the rest of the seasons until, you know, we eventually, you know, do 15 seasons and that's it. Or I more than likely get fired, but whatever. It's just that FIFA 14... It's been so dead for the last couple of weeks. I've just been doing career mode, really, apart from anything else. And yeah, I think it's just time. The demo's out. So yeah, I mean, that's it's going to be it. This will be the last season. I'm pretty obvious. But for the meantime, we have a game against Stevenage in the FA Cup. So, I mean, if we don't take home the chocolates here, then what the hell? But still, uh, yeah, let's play. I'll play a relatively not as strong team, even though we've got a week break, but still. I might even let my uh, assistant coach or whatever sort of select the team for me. And if it's a good team, I agree with. Hurtado, Yates, Dermaz, Hansen. Yeah, fine. That's okay. Uh, Pinto's a little bit tired, so I'll get him out. Yeah, we'll go with that team. Okay, so it's an odd team. It's not a team that I would never, I would ever put together personally, but hell, let's just go with it. FA Cup tie against Stevenage. I don't even know what league they're from, League 1 or League 2 or whatever, but still... We'll play the game out, hopefully get the win that we should get, and that's it. Mate, that ball. That ball! Oh, come on, there's a gap there. Run into it. Hanson, you took... Mm, no, I'm not going to blame Hanson there. Dude just took forever. Hanson... Oh, my God! Hanson's really starting to piss me off. In comes the cross. Deal with it. Get rid of it. Clear. No, that's not even... Ah, just get rid of it. Oh, some space. Pacheco. We're trying to work the middle here because we've been going wide and every time we go to Hanson, he turns it over. He's been very, very average today. Oh, wow. Hanson, he's actually nutmegged that bloke there and still no support though. But we go again and again and again. Get that second pass in. There we go. Have a shot, son. It's a goal. Great, great finish. Well done. Who is that? Dermaz? I think you'll find it is. You beauty. Still trying to work something here. I'm going to go... Oh, that's a really sweet, nice looking pass. And another through ball. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Can we whip in the cross? Yes, we can. Oh, that would have been some header. It's... No, it's a... Damn it, I dinked it. Oh, come on. We can break. We can break. Oh, we've got really no support here. Apart from out on the wing. There we go. Suck them in. Dermaz, let's go again. Another through ball. There it is. Let's go again. Can we whip in another cross? Yes, we can. Can we finish? Yes, we... Oh, he's offside. Oh, he's still got it. Oh, that's a really nice touch, actually. He's still got it. He's going to run into space for Hanson. Please shoot. Please score. Oh, he's missed. Damn it, Hanson. He's been very average all day. I will say that. We're still working it. No, we're not. It's a game over. 1-0. I'll take that. That's still a win. We progress. Now, we've got a whole week until our next game. So, of course, we are trying to sell or we are selling a few of our players to free up a little bit of space and a little bit of wage so we can sign some great players on a pre-contract. Uh, the sale of Moy might happen. It just depends on if we can find a club that will offer us the right amount. Six million for Aaron Moy. You know, I would pretty much accept that. Maybe you go for 6.5, but uh, I mean, that is pretty much what I would sell him for. And that frees up so much cash and we can bring in a lot of really good players. But I tell you what, we will try for 6.5. If they say yes to that, then boom. If they still say 6 million, I still might offer it. I still might accept it, to be totally honest. It will be sad to see Aaron Moy go. Obviously won the J-Bucks medal last game, uh, last season. And here we go. We got Trent Sainsbury and uh, James Forrest, two players that I decided to give pre-contract offers to. Both have agreed, so there we go. Okay, it looks like we're about to sell Aaron Moy for $6 million. That frees up a lot of space. Sad to see him go, but it is a sacrifice that we have to make to bring in even better players and more of them too. Tell you what I will do though, because I've got the wage for it, I'm going to go ahead and accept both of these players. We've got James Forrest, who is a pacey winger, who can also play as a striker as well, so I might throw him uh, up forward a little bit as well. Uh, so that'd be exciting, get a striker with a shitload of pace. And now we've got Trent Sainsbury, who is meant to be, uh, who I'm predicting should be a mid-70 uh, mid rated centre-back with very good physical attributes for a centre-back. Good pace, strength, stamina, it's awesome. And, you know, we're only paying like five grand wage for him, it's ridiculous. International management offer from Austria, don't think so. Offer for Cal McHugh, I don't think I want to sell him unless it's for a loan. And we have Freiburg, yep, so we got five million from the sale of Moy. Uh, even though he was only worth about 2.5. It's a decent deal, but that's a shitload of wage now. Let's go back into my shortlist. Let's see if we can sign any decent players. And if I were to allocate all my wage, $126,000 on a wage, that's enough to sign two really good players or one superstar. But um, yeah, let's have a look and see what uh, players that we could be able to sign. So we're back into my shortlist, and I'm thinking specifically considering that we just sold our best central midfielder, I am probably going to have to try to get a replacement for him in the form of a pre-contract and in the form of Henry Lansbury, who I believe 
is you know eighteen point five million. His wage eighty thousand. We have enough for that now. And like some of his stats are incredible. He doesn't have the best physical attributes, but I'll forgive him for that. He's just got some great stats pretty much everywhere. His ball control, his passing, his vision, everything looks sick. So we'll offer eighty thousand for three years. And hopefully he just accepts that. No fuss, no muss, but we will find out. But for now, we got a game against Southampton, so let's go. And in this game, yes, I will rock a full-strength team because we've got full energy, and let's go. All right, raining as well. All right, fantastic. Can't wait for it. We have definitely been punching above our weight in this league so far. We are sick. We're level with Manchester United on points. We get the right result here. We could jump into fifth. The top five. No, that's ridiculous. I mean, I'm playing on Legendary. It's the hardest difficulty. It can't get any harder for me unless I use sliders to my disadvantage and I'm still sick. Mate, this is crazy. Oh, the gate. There's a gap in the middle. Oh, come on. We've got him. We've got him. Oh, that through ball was really not good enough for Doyle. Still got there. Runs. Being chased. It's being caught. I'm oh, God. Took one more extra touch. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. That was fucking like, Jesus. I just had to sit and watch that. Save, rebounded right fucking back to him. Oh, hang a minute. We've caught him out here. And it's someone that I actually want on the end of it. Danny Pacheco. And he's going to try to take him on. He does. He does. Oh, he's running into space. He may as well shoot. He may as well score. Danny Pacheco. If you're just going to let him run on goal, then fine. We'll take that. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention there. Oh, boy. Don't let him. Don't let him. Clear. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, go quickly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. It was at the wrong post. I was trying to go for the top left-hand corner. Bates, again, just been stunning. Really, really good today, Bates. And he has started this. Can we work anything from it? Oh, you betcha. Run. Good through ball. Armstrong can run onto that. And can he whip something in? He's got three guys around him. Yes, he can. The header comes in. The save. Jeez, it was right at the keeper. He's being fouled. He's still got it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Nah. No. Fucking just get some power under it. And don't... And don't fucking head it right to the keeper. That's time, surely. Surely. Yeah, we just had to make sure that the AI got at least one attack before they called off time. All right, it's a draw. It's a draw. We'll take it. Okay, guys. Huge news. Look at this table. We just cracked the top five. Manchester United lost their game, whoever they played against. I don't believe it. Holy crap, we're in the top five. Mate, this is unbelievable. No, no, no. We shouldn't be in the top five. This should be much harder for me. How am I in the top five? Like I've been saying, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. My team is nowhere near the standard of these huge clubs like Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, and all these other teams. And Chelsea, especially. And there's just no way I should be doing this well. I mean, I'm playing hardest difficulty. I don't get it. It's ridiculous. And once again, it's not like I'm going to lose games or draw games on purpose, but still. The pre-contract offer has been accepted from Henry Lansbury. This guy is going to be worth 20 million something odd dollars when we get him next season. So I'm excited. He's definitely going to replace Moy's spot at centre mid. But for now, we're going to settle with Doyle. And I thought he was okay in the previous game. Not great, but still okay. And look at this. Boom. It's as simple as that. I think it's the fact that he's at Nottingham Forest and he wants to come up as well, which makes it so good for us and so easy for us. But yeah, we just picked up a $20 million play. That's awesome. And all we're doing is paying his wage. Do we get any other offers for for players or anything like that. We have one for Jimmy Dermas, who's another player that I'm looking to sell, offload a free agent that we got at the start of the year. So yes, we will we will see how much he's worth. Now this is kind of interesting. Sunderland, 3.6 million for a player that's worth 4.6. That's a joke. I know his morale's bad, but his form is excellent, which I don't get. Um, and as well as that, it's funny because we play Sunderland next. How about this, you Mackham scum? Pay what he's worth. 4.6 million. Please accept that. We will find out soon enough. But for now, we are going to actually play them. Sunderland. Let's go. That will be in the next episode, though, guys. And that will also be probably the final video with the green screen effect. And then we're just going to finish up the season. And then after that, that's it. We're done. We're going to sim until I get fired, more than likely. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But until then, guys, from yours again, the Mars Peace out. Bye-bye.